Filled with confidence and excitement, Moshe and Aaron approach Paro to demand that he let Am Yisrael go. But the plan doesn't quite go as they envisioned. That same day, as a direct result of this confrontation, Paro orders the Egyptian slave masters to stop providing Am Yisrael with material for bricks. In addition to making bricks for the futile structures they were forced to build and rebuild again, the Jewish people would need to locate brick-making materials as well. Moshe returns to Hashem and expresses his well-founded dismay. Not only haven't you redeemed Am Yisrael, ever since you sent me to Paro, things have only gotten worse. Hashem replies, Ata Sireh. Now you will see what I will do to Paro. He will send them away with a strong hand. With a strong hand, he will force them from his land. The Tash Rebbe points out that while perhaps a reassurance, this reply doesn't seem to address Moshe Rabbeinu's question. If Hashem was going to redeem them anyway, why did he cause their workload to increase? Listen to this incredible thought from the Tzaddik. In previous weeks, we mentioned that the first exile, Gullus Mitzrayim, is the root of all other exiles. Every aspect of the redemption from Mitzrayim would lay the foundation for all future redemptions, particularly for the ultimate redemption from the final Gullus, which the Pasuk and Micha connects with Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. Now, when Moshe had first come before the people bearing his message of hope, Am Yisrael believed in him, in Hashem. They were certain that Hashem would redeem them. In their dismal state at the 49th level of impurity, this emuna alone would make them worthy of the ensuing redemption. But that's not how Hashem wanted it. Because this redemption was the root of the ultimate geula, a geula which, as Chazal tell us, will come for a dar shakule chayiv, a completely wicked generation as well, Hashem wanted to cause Am Yisrael to lose their worthiness so that He could redeem them even though they were undeserving through His mercy alone. Now we can understand that Hashem's response to Moshe was directly addressing Moshe's protest. Now, now that I've caused them to lose faith in you and me, to lose faith that they will be redeemed, now that they are undeserving, I am ready to redeem them. Friends, sometimes we look around at the state of our world, at the state of our holy nation, and wonder how we will ever be worthy of the Geula if it didn't come for the far more impressive generations that preceded us. But while we certainly need to put in our maximum effort to serve Hashem in the deepest way, we need to remember that the final Geula will come in the blink of an eye, rooted not in our worthiness, but in Hashem's unconditional love alone. Wishing all of Am Yisrael a restful, elevated and meaningful Shabbos Kodesh.